So now in the next step, I want to show you uh, the treatment of Adrienne's uh, tumor on her neck with ultrasound. She got the Indusonine green photosensitizer already two days ago. And I told you already that we can stimulate this substance with infrared laser light with production of reactive oxygen species, which kill tumor cells. Besides the phototherapy, we also can stimulate the Indusonine green with ultrasound. So this substance is not only a photosensitizer, this is also a so-called sonosensitizer. The effect of uh, the sonotherapy is very similar to the phototherapy. The ultrasound also can stimulate the Indusonine green for production of oxygen species. But there is another effect. The ultrasound um, delivers so-called cavitation bubbles in the tumor cells which then let the tumor cells explode so that you can even see the result already after some days. We have different ultrasound methods what we can use. We can use so-called low power ultrasound. Normally we use 2 watt per square centimeter. That's something similar what we also use in physiotherapy. And another method is uh, our ultrasound shock waves. So first of all now we want to de demonstrate the low power ultrasound. We have the device here. Uh, Dr. Axel gives me already the applicator. It's a one megahertz applicator with deep penetration. And we have to put the gel on the tumor area. And we already uh, made the preset of the device to two watt per square centimeter and we will treat this area for about 15 minutes. So we can start the device. Wait a moment and I will ask my patient if she can feel something. Yes. I what feeling do you have? Please. A little bit of a tingling sensation. Is it like and electricity? Or? A bit like electricity. You feel the, um, the tingling of the current and the warmth. It's quite it's warm. warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in each case, because the sensitivity of the patient is different, you have to check uh, before you make the treatment what uh, power the patient can tolerate. So I would recommend to start with one watt per square centimeter and then extend it maybe to a maximum what the patient can tolerate. And what's also important, always move the applicator and not bring the energy only on one place. Same what we do with the laser shower. Still okay? A little bit warm. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah.